from Zero FXB, welcome to my channel. Raspberry Pi 5, it is the latest model. This is the 4GB version, but you can get 8GB as well. Everything on this device has been improved. It's more than twice as fast and infinitely smoother than the previous model, as said on the Raspberry Pi site. Using the RP, RP1 IO controller, containing silicon designed in-house at Raspberry Pi. USB 3 has more total bandwidth for much faster transfer speeds. Camera and DSi display connectors are interchangeable so you can have one on each or two the same. Pi 5 also features the Broadcon BCM2712 quad-core ARM Cortex-A76 processor at 2.4 GHz making it up to three times faster than the previous generation with RAM variants of 4GB, 8GB. All aboard the PCI Express, this addition to Raspberry Pi allows you to connect an M.2 SSD to your Raspberry Pi, giving you speedy data transfer and super fast boot. We now have a, a power button just here. Dual 4K P60, real-time clop, UART debug port, USB times 4, 5 volt, 5 amp input, DC power, Bluetooth version 5, low energy, dual band 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, 4K Pro 60 HEVC decoder, video core, 7 GPU supporting OpenGL ES 3.1 Vulkan 1.2 and lots more. So that's the specifications. Today's video is just to install it into a heat sink case. Now you can buy the uh, a Raspberry Pi 5 case which has a module that connects on top of this unit. Uh, it's, a, it's a small fan, but I'm just decided to go for the heat sink because I, I only use this for very, uh, not you know, I use it for my ham radio hobby, so it's, there's not a big demand, but I have connected this up though. I've loaded Raspbian on this, and it does run fast, and it runs my monitor no problem at all, and all my applications that I would want to run. You do need the adapter for the HDMI out, which I use this for now, but there are cables as well. And there everything is, so have a good look. Raspberry Pi 4GB model. So they, they have pretty much reworked how this whole thing ticks. Uh, so check all the specifications out with other videos and information. There's your chip there. Okay. HDMI. Look at your power button. USB, Ethernet. Everything just works very well. So let's uh, get this into my case, which just came through the post. Uh, and then uh, I've made other videos using this device. I plan to make lots of, because I'm a ham radio operator, ham radio uh, related programs on this device. So this is how it came. Oh, wow, that's very solid. It feels really good quality. Heat sink, no fan. I find that the noises, I find the noises, but anyway, you've got all the screws needed, Allen key, sticky pads. And the base unit looks like this. So the heat sink is all around. I've never done this before, but my common sense is telling me that these sticky pads will match these items, all these different chips. So I'm gonna stick them on and bolt the thing together. And when it is bolted together, we can run it and see how hot it gets. I just prefer not having a fan. It looks like we have good access to our GPIO pins there. And USB. Plus other peripherals. So let's do it. We do have this card to help us to, uh, you know, add the stickers where required. And so I'm just sort of lining them up at the moment and then we'll stick them. And yeah, one side just peels off. Okay, we've... Put them on as per that there's some spare ones this is actually some sort of heat sink sticker it's not just a pretty sticker with that's foam it's 
it's a heat transfer one and you do need to peel off the sticky part that is on both sides so there's our, our base unit here place that there like so and then the GPIO pins here looks like it goes this way around yeah very neat so let's get the bolts in looks like they go in from the bottom yeah very neat little package got all the allen key bolts in allen key provided just do them up and i'm really so pleased with how small this package is the i've got my it's completely configured so we're going to plug it in in a second and see how hot it gets this is the end result USB-C to power it. You can get to your on-off switch, which is here. Which I know people have been asking for for years. HDMI out, but I, I am using real VNC to view this on my PC. Let's just, let's plug it, let's power it up. And you do technically need five amps we only got we only have about two amps on this supply but let's plug it in let's just see if it all connects to my vnc viewer on my windows pc yeah it's working fine it's, it's the temperature's hardly changed i can't feel anything next thing we'll do is go over to the pc run it for five minutes and just see how it how it operates we we will be we, like i said we'll be using real vnc viewer we're using it via Wi-Fi as well but it, yes it does have Bluetooth okay we're at the PC this is the Raspberry Pi 5 that I purchased we're using real VNC on the left to view it I got the heatsink case from Amazon it's £15.99 very happy with it going over here we'll just quickly show you it working of course you can use your HDMI output from the Pi you can run two screens there's our menu list there I recommend you get a proper Pi 5 power supply because it does say it needs 5 amps. It's going to improve things. Browser there. File section there. Command window. So thanks very much for watching my channel. Catch you soon. Bye for now. 7-3. Please remember if you're enjoying my content to like and subscribe.